Tēnā koutou koutou a year eight. Ka nui te mihi, ko Mr. Andrew Rapley took a winger. Hi, I'm Mr. Rapley, and I'd just like to extend a really warm greeting to you guys. Um, I, alongside Miss Fonderoy here, um, are here to support you as you transition from year eight up into the college next year. Kia ora. I'm Moss and I'm one of your head students at Otomotai College. I remember five years ago when I was in the exact position that you're in now. I, probably like many of you, was excited but I was also nervous because I had no idea what the next few years would look like. Hopefully after this video you have a better understanding of what your next five years will look like and be slightly less nervous. At secondary school the structure of classes and the range of subjects is going to be a little bit different to what you're used to. You won't have one class that you do everything with. Instead, you'll move between classes for each of your subjects. You'll have a form class with the same teacher and classmates for the whole time you're at college. So the core classes that you will take next year are English, Maths, Science, Social Studies and PE. You'll have five classes a day and there will be a combination of the core subjects and optional classes, which George will talk about soon. Perhaps I'm biased, but Otomoto College is the best school and I would recommend it to anyone. Kia ora, my name is Georgia and I'm a head student this year. In year 9 you will have two option classes per term. These are made up of art, digital business, drama, graphics, music, food technology, hard materials technology, and you can choose to take a language, either Spanish or Māori. Throughout your first year you will have the opportunity to try each of these classes to get a feel for the subjects you choose to continue with further in school. Other learning opportunities include the extended learning program as well as supported learning program. So no matter where you are on your learning journey, you will be accommodated at Automosai College. Kia ora everyone, I'm the Board of Trustees Student Representative Sandra. Here at OTC, we really care about your voices and what you have to say. OTC has many different leadership positions enabling you to shine and your unique abilities. These include the Creative Arts Committee, Special Events, No Manu, Hawara, Mentoring and so much more. Good morning, my name is Emily and I'm here to talk to you about some of the opportunities available to you in the arts. In drama you will have the opportunity to be involved next year in our biennial school musical and in the junior play the following year. In dance you have the opportunity to perform for the school community each term, as well as competing in various local dance competitions from Showquest to Dance NZ Made, through both dance as a subject and our school's competition dance troops. In the senior school, you can also be involved in the Creative or Visual Arts Committee to help organise events and to take leadership within the school. Good morning, my name is Tom and I am one of the student leaders in charge of the arts along with Emily. In music, you can be involved in our jazz band, symphonic band, chamber music, guitar group, vocal groups and rock quest to name a few. You can also express your outstanding musical skills in the talent quest that is held every year. Overall, the Arts Department at our school plays a huge role in developing and letting new students fit into the college. This is done through our itinerant program where you can learn almost any instrument you want to. As an example of the amazing talent that is already at our school, we can see Big Angry, who are a band who won the regional Rock Quest competition and went through to compete in the Nationals. We are also given opportunities to learn from other artists, such as the singer of LAB and Midnight Youth. With all these chances, try to get yourself as involved in the arts as much as possible when you're at the school. Kia ora, ko Ale ingoa, and I'm one of the Roa Manu Committee Leaders for 2022 and I'm going to be talking to you about some of the cultural activities we have to offer at Otumasai College. So, in Year 9 you have the opportunity to join Potama, which is a form class based on Te Ao Māori, Te Reo Māori and Te Kanga Māori. So we do activities such as Pakanga Ho Friday and we also have Potama assemblies and Potama also leads to leadership roles such as Tatariki A Potama and Rua Mano Committee. And then also some of the Māori courses we have to offer are Te Reo Māori and Te Ao Māori for juniors and we also have Te Reo Māori, Te Ao Māori and Tikanga Māori Performing Arts for our seniors. And speaking of Tikanga Māori Performing Arts, we do have a kapaha ko Ropu, ko Konga Piki ko Te Ranginui. We perform at regional competitions and smaller competitions as well. And we're always looking for new members, so it'd be good to join that. And then at the end of the year, we celebrate all of our successes at the Māori and Pacifica Awards. 
Hi, my name is Brooke and I am one of the four sports leaders for this year. Sport has played a huge role in my college experience. Throughout almost five years of attending the college, I have been provided with a huge amount of sporting opportunities. From winning regional titles, getting sent to national tournaments, picking up and trialling a range of new sports and getting selected for leadership roles. There is a, also a week-long national tournament for first teams of most winter and summer sports, which is similar to AIMS games, but for individual sports. Our sporting facilities here at Otomoto College are pretty awesome, with our action centre having a squash court, cardio room, weights gym, dance room and rock climbing walls. As much as we are a competitive sporting school, our social aspects of sporting are just as strong. There are also heaps of events throughout the year for students to participate in, such as athletics, swimming sports, cross country and the Fado relay races. Hello, I've also received some great sporting opportunities through my college years, such as representing the school at the New Zealand Secondary Schools Volleyball Competition. But volleyball isn't for everyone, so let's talk about some opportunities that you may have. In Year 9 and 10, you can get the opportunity for a competition called Get To Go. This involves orienteering, supping, rock climbing and various other activities. Our school is also quite extraordinary when it comes to their school sports. For example, our football girls first 11 are first on their table with the boys in third, the hockey girls first 11 finish second and the boys finish fourth and our rugby boys first 15 are second in their comp. Due to COVID disruptions, we haven't been able to enter as many sporting events as we would have liked. However, in the past, Otomato College has also been on the podium for tennis, athletics, canoe slalom, rowing and mountain biking. Throughout this year, we have also seen several students succeed at such a high level that they have been lucky enough to be selected for New Zealand teams. Those are just a few sports that Otomato College is involved in. We're in a year eight, I'm Miss Fauntleroy, I'm your other year nine dean next year along with Mr. Rapley. Uh, I'm sorry we couldn't be there today, but we're really looking forward to come meeting you. I'm sure after all those year 13 videos, you've got lots of questions and you can ask those next week when we come over uh, with year 13s to answer those for you. If you still have questions after that, you can ask them on our open evening, the 9th of August, where you and your whānau can come and visit, uh, meet all of our teachers, meet all of our students and get more orientated around the school. Really looking forward to meeting you when you jump over the fence and climb up that hill. We'll see you next year.